We're joined now by the chief executive and co-founder of Kogo, Jeffrey Kong. Jeffrey, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. So explain to people exactly what is Kogo, because you don't own manufacturing plants. You don't have workers in factories assembling electronic modules. You're, in a sense, a point that people come to, small and medium-sized businesses in China. They come to your website to yes. discover what? Well, uh, we are an uh, alumni marketplace of the technical solutions for the Chinese small medium enterprise customers. So we are, as of today, we are totally have over 1,600 you know, enterprise customers, which cover the industries like uh, technical equipment, mobile handset, smartphone, tablet, mobile internet, industrial, you know, factory automation, all kinds of the technical stuff. Now, you've also got a big solar business, right? I mean, how does that work? In other words, someone who wants to build solar panels or someone who is building solar modules, they would come to a, the Kogo website. Yes. And they would, what, look for the technical specifications or the engineering details that would then allow them to license the technology and use it in their own products? Yeah, we are we actually developing the B2B you know, online platform to working with the, all the global technology leaders like uh, Intel, SanDisk, Microsoft, ABB, Schleider, all of the global technology leaders in each segment. So we list all the our, our own design solutions and all the third parties design solutions on our website and then the, our customers engineers could research them and you know, understand these solutions once they need that and at the same time we develop this uh, you know, application store we put all every these solutions on our application store which let our, all our customers engineers can search or understand all these solutions. So and what would be an example of some Something like if I was a maker of high-definition televisions yes, yeah. in China, I would come to your website? Yes. You know, for example, with, as of today, we have uh, over 100 HD, HD TV set-top box vendors working with us. So their engineer can access all those, you know, our uh, uh, solution pools online, and then we give them the online support. But our business model is to, you know, because we give all the design to our customer for free. But once they use the art design, they have to buy some of the bounding in chip, which for example, like a broadcast HD TV chipset, and also some of the memory, some you know, SanDisk, the, uh, uh, SanDisk, the iNAND. We combine a few key parts, and, and we sell to the customer. And then you get, what, a commission for making that sale happen, or you, get a, you buy it from Broadcom, or you buy it from SanDisk, and then you pass that, uh, you make that purchase available to the, the, the local companies? We own the transaction, so we buy and we sell. So that means... You're you know, like a broker we, in a way. Yes, we buy from, let's say, $10 from Broadcom, we sell to our customer $12, and we make $2 profit, but we own the one door-to-door -door service to our customer. So we, will, we want to develop a platform, it's a one-stop destination for our Chinese SME customers. We give them a you door-to-door know, -door service Service. Once they used our design, we link them with the tier one global leaders in terms of technology, and we understand our customers' demand, and we serve over not only just one customer. We serve, you know, as of today, we have one thousand. Right, you said 1,600. sixteen hundred customers. Well, and I guess also because you know the local market, you're able yes. to interact with them in a in a smoother way. I want to thank you very much, Jeffrey Kong, coming to us, chief executive, co-founder of Kogo.